The Biden administration trying to ignore the ongoing investigation over the cocaine found in the White House. But who could have done it? And will we ever find out? Let's go off the wall to learn more. So let's start, Will, with the timeline. Because on Sunday, if you're watching TV, it was a pretty dramatic headline. Substance found at the White House. What is it? Nobody knew at the moment. That's Sunday. On Sunday night, it turned out that substance was cocaine. Now, at the same time, everyone has made a big point, most notably Corrine Jean-Pierre, White House spokesperson, that the Bidens weren't at the White House. They were at Camp David when the cocaine was found. In fact, they were at, at Camp David, she suggests, on Sunday, on Saturday, and on Friday. Which, Pete, brings up two interesting notes. One, it doesn't matter where they were when the cocaine was found. It matters where they were when the cocaine was lost. Yes. And then the question is, are you telling me the truth? Because and, I think they were there on Friday. And do we know how long the cocaine was there? We don't. We haven't been told that. Of course, they were there on Friday. They left together on Friday evening. So they're already hedging, and they haven't definitively said, no, it's not Hunter's, no, it's not Joe's. So then on Wednesday, the lab test came back for this powdery substance, and it tested positive for cocaine, which, all, which is when all the other questions swirled up. You know, what's interesting about it coming back, cocaine, you know, as this sits right now in the realm of unsolved mysteries, ask yourself a simple question. If it had come back as anthrax, would we have big questions today about who brought anthrax into the White House? No, I think we'd know. We would know, and there would be no... Dif the Secret Service has basically said, we're going to wrap this investigation up on Monday. Yeah. If you really want to know, you don't preemptively send an end to your investigation unless maybe they do know who it is. But they say they don't, over and over. Except, actually, they don't answer the question directly. They've been asked on multiple occasions, does the cocaine belong to the Bidens? No, it does not. It would violate the Hatch Act for me to answer Run that off question. camera quickly. <laughs> Let's leave that one there. <laughs> or just say no, Corrine Jean-Pierre. No, it doesn't belong to they the Bidens. They cannot say no. This will be interesting because DNA or fingerprints, if it's in a baggie, which we're told it was, someone's handling that. And if it was in a cubby or an area where you leave your items, then presumably no one else was touching it. Or the multitude of cameras in oh, the or White that. House. Yes. From your office to this studio, Pete, I counted it the other day. You're in the vicinity of a dozen cameras, down hallways, in different rooms, to get here. That's scary. And this is a TV program. That's the White House. That's it's next to the House. Situation Room. There's no cameras? There are a few cameras. So we're going to go now to the schematic of the White House, because there were multiple places, there were reports of where this was found, and it kept changing, Will. It's, it's not, it's a big place, but it's not a big place. And as you said, there's a lot of, wherever the substance is found is a definitive point, yet each time it's been shifting. For yeah, us. It, it's moved the, the story of where the cocaine was found. Let's start on the first floor, which is actually above the ground floor. The first floor is home to the Oval Office, uh, the press briefing room, and the original reports, Pete, were that it was found in the library. So the library, they're saying is in the northeast corner of the first floor of the White House. Yeah, we were talking to Tom Homan in the green, green Room. He's schooling us on where this all belongs. By the way, Will, not drawn to scale. I just want you to know that. This is not a perfect drawing. But the Oval Office is not, If you're entering the White House, let's come over here. If you're entering the White House as a VIP visitor, you're not walking in this fr famous front door that we always have our cameras trained on. The West Wing is on the west side, and there's a road between the executive office building, I've been there multiple times, and the entrance to the ground floor of the, uh, of the West Wing. There's a desk right there. Your items, you leave your items there or others when you enter in. If you're a VIP, uh, not everyone enters that way, but you're, you're known when you enter. So that, that lines up with the approximate location of the cocaine, which is the ground floor. Anyone, not just the vice president, any visitor would be going into that location. I don't know how many cameras are trained on that, but there are lots. And they know who's coming in and who's going out. And that's the latest. That's the latest report on where the cocaine was found. The executive interest, as Pete says, to the West Wing on the same floor where the Navy mess, the cafeteria, is located, as well as the vice president's hallway. It's interesting they've sort of floated, oh, it's off the vice president's wing a little yeah. bit. Are, are they trying to schlep uh, yet another thing off in that direction? They already tried to throw it onto the construction workers working yeah. on the situation room just a few steps away from where you check in and the coke was found. All right, let's take a look at what actually, how serious is this? Cocaine is a Schedule II controlled substance, um, the possession of which would, <laughs> in, 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 I, I assume, a misdemeanor. Um, but, yeah. you know, 
it's Coke. That cocaine also not to scale. Okay, oh. that would be a lot of Coke. Scarface. <laughs> Scarface in the White House. There's a little bit that they found there. Uh, it, it would be a misdemeanor uh, of it as well. It's interesting to note that Joe Biden wanted to add criminal penalties in 1991 for the possession of cocaine. He's disavowed that statement at this point. But you'd get 180 days in jail potentially uh, or, or a big fine as a result. That would be the easy way to handle it. We're going to find who did this. We're going to prosecute him because this is not tolerated at the White House, but it doesn't seem to be the way it's going. Let's hope it doesn't stay or fall into the realm of the white or the Supreme Court leaker or the January 6th pipe bomber. It doesn't have to remain a great unsolved mystery. It's true.